And welcome back. Joining us now, Matt Goodwin with the Oklahoma Humane Society, and he's brought along Puck and this guy, not a puppy, no, but no. we've got such a sweet disposition. <laughs> he is uh, he's really a distinguished gentleman here. He's six years old, uh, house trained, crate trained, they said doggy door trained even, super smart, uh, can be around kids. He's just, uh, he was darting in all the offices walking in here. It's pretty, uh, pretty incredible. Look at that smile. <laughs> and he's like, I know I'm on camera right now. Oh, yeah. Good work. Yeah. <laughs> um, so you think he'd fit in uh, in a lot of types of homes? Definitely. I think in multiple multiple homes. Uh, he is he is older at six, but he's still got a lot of energy, a lot of fun. Uh, but also, as you can see, he just likes to sit and, and, and relax a little bit, too. So yeah, good really, really good. All right. So he's available over at uh, the uh, Adoption Center? Yes. He'll be at the Adoption Center immediately following this. And uh, I mean, I'd love to get him a place even today. Let's, uh, let's find him a great spot. 7500 Northwestern. So... Matt, uh, people who aren't familiar with you, um, you just recently joined Oklahoma Humane Society. You're the chief operating officer there. And maybe just say a quick word about how you're changing from central Oklahoma to Oklahoma. Definitely. Uh, just starting a uh, statewide initiative funded by the, uh, uh, the Watershed Animal Fund. So appreciative of that. We get calls every day from uh, rural communities around the state. So this will be a key way for us to really uh, put help and boots to the ground to help on some of those situations. Well, we appreciate it and look forward to uh, the good work that you do across Excellent. the state. Thanks so Matt, much. thanks, and thanks for bringing Puck in today. Definitely. All right, if you want more information on adopting any pet from the Oklahoma Humane Society, you can go to our website, news9.com/pets.